Hey, Bob Hot Rod Roar from Kalefi, and now I want to tell you about a really interesting valve that we have available, and it's used for a boiler return protection valve. So what this valve is basically, it's a thermostatic mixing valve. It's a non-adjustable valve, and it's intended to provide uh, an accurate um, return temperature protection of boilers. And why is that important? Why would we want a valve like that? Well, what happens is a, as the valve starts warming up, if there's a, a, the boiler starts warming up and there's a load on the system, we want to maintain the temperature coming back to our boiler so we don't condense or start sweating inside the boiler. Now, in a gas-fired or an LP-fired boiler, you're going to see that as dripping in the boiler. You'll hear some condensation dripping on the burner. In a wood boiler, it's very critical because what will happen if you start sweating and condensing to that boiler, now you have the danger of creosote forming in the uh, combustion chamber as well as the flue pipe. So that's really where this valve was developed for the industry of uh, you know, wood boilers or solid fuel boilers. But there's a really important place for this valve in any boiler that has to have a certain maintained temperature going back to it. Typically, that's going to be about 140 degrees. It's about the dew point of most fuels. So we've got to maintain the temperature going back to that boiler at 140 degrees. So that's what this valve is going to do for you. And it's going to do that by blending the temperature coming out of the boiler with the temperature going back into the boiler. So basically it's going to, let me show you with a cutaway. I think I can explain this better. And also follow along on the graphics because it really shows well how this valve works. Same thermostatic cartridge inside there, and that cartridge is going to move that spool, so it's going to blend the cold water with the hot water to give you that mixed temperature. So what it's going to do is as the boiler starts warming up, you can see on the graphic the hot water comes out of the boiler as a red line, and now it's going to take that water and it's going to bag, bypass it back through the valve, back to the boiler, so that the boiler temperature can increase quickly before the load starts stealing some of that heat away from the valve. So that's what this valve is intended to do, is constantly monitor those temperatures. And when that return temperature gets up to the 100 40 degrees, it's going to shut that bypass port off and now the water goes out to the system and it's returning back to the system at the 140 degrees with the adequate temperature for the um, system. See if you can see on the bottom of that. Now this valve is going to be built with a thermostatic cartridge to the temperature that you need for it. And typically, like I said, that's going to be 140 degrees for gas-fired or wood-fired boilers. But that's where the cartridge gets built into it. It's not uh, adjustable. So order this valve for what you need. Again, the instructions are in the box. It tells you how to pipe this. It needs to be piped properly to work properly. So. The other thing we do for this valve that makes it really nice for you is we put a, these temperature wells all over the valve. So now you can know what the return temperature is. You put a, valve, a gauge in that uh, port there. You can know what the mix temperature is, and you can also know what the bypass temperature is. So by giving you all these nice gauge ports all around here, you can read and know what all those temperatures are. So that's what we call our... Um, thermal mix valve. Now we take that a step further. We make it a little bit more convenient for installers and we give it to you with a pump already built into it. So now what we've got, we take this a little bit further by giving you the pump. So now that's the pump that moves the water through your, system, or through your boiler, through your bypass valve. And it also has a, what we call a gravity gate or a, a check valve in here. And what that check valve is intended to do, let's say you've got a wood-fired boiler and you've got a fire going in and the power goes out. Well, what's going to happen to that boiler if the pump shuts off? The pump can't run because the power's out. Well, it's going to overheat, possibly turn to steam. So there's a little check valve in here. And the buoyancy of the hot water coming out of the boiler is going to force that check valve so you're going to get a natural thermal siphon circulation through the boiler so you don't overheat the boiler. Now that's important in the case of a wood boiler because it's got to have that uh, you know, belly full of fire that you can't put out like a gas boiler. The fire is going to go out when the power goes off, but a wood boiler, there's no way to shut that uh, fire off immediately. So that's why this valve is important with that gate in it. Now the key to both these valves is they're very high flow, much higher flow. Guys can use a regular thermostatic valve as a mixing protection device, but they don't have a very high seed. They don't have a very good flow rate through them. You can see the ports. You can see the dimensions on that. Obviously, this was just a little model to show you how they work inside, but you can see the ports of this valve. This whole size of this valve is much bigger. So by giving you it with the pump, with the little gravity gate in there for overheat protection, same thing here. We give you a nice cover. And we give you all these gauges that you can put into the, we give you three gauges with this. So again, you know your return temperature from the system, you know your bypass temperature, and you know what's going back into the boiler by using those three gauges. And look at the great little insulation jacket for it too, a little uh, two-piece clamshell insulation that makes it look nice. And then the gauges slide through that, so it's a nice professional looking uh, installation. Sorry about that, but I haven't pushed those in yet. So there's your gauges, there's your insulation jack, there's the pump assembly, and the uh, valve without the pump. Great products from Cluffy.